We need the money. The kids have to eat, the woman says to herself, seeming ready to put her life on the line to win. No, no, I forgot my salve, the man yells in a panic. A sudden calm washes over him. Oh, wait, there was a merchant back in the vestibule. What an emotional ride this man's life must be. The man eagerly awaits his turn in the ring. My quarrel is not with humans, he says gravely. You take that to me, you'll only be fighting monsters out there. Gladio drops the monster in front of the reception desk with a wet, meaty thud. I felled it, Lavia says without hesitation. I expected nothing less, the man behind the desk says with a hearty laugh. It quickly becomes clear, however, that this compliment was intended for Gladio. Lavia chafes, but at least the beast has been returned. The party makes its way back out of the arena. What's a runt like you come to the arena for? The warriors sneer in Lavia's direction. His blood clearly boiling. Lavia spins around on a heel and raises his fist. Say that one more time, he shouts. Fists raised and eyes locked. You can see they'll come to blows any second now. You reckon Lavia's no match for his opponent and decide to intervene on his behalf. You call out, and the warrior throws a flurry of fists your way. Thankfully, you anticipated this would happen and managed to dodge them cleanly. The warrior's meaty fist flies toward your abdomen. Your arm instantly meets it in the air, stifling the attack. <laughs> Having successfully drawn him out far enough, you heave your fist into the warrior's face. Enough, Gladio barks by way of intervention. Despite picking the fight in the first place, the warriors show no interest in going up against the attendant. They slink off, complaining bitterly as they do so. By all accounts, Lavia endures rather crude treatment, despite being a maiden. You snap out of your thoughts when Gladio turns and thanks you for aiding in the monster's capture. He tells Lavia to show you to the inn as if to suggest everyone could use a rest after that fight, and takes his leave. You arrive at the inn, eager to rest. You mention to Lavia once more what brings you to the West Isle. You speak of the current state of Omega Isle and how the maiden's relics are key to saving the island. Lavia hears your tale in full, only to politely decline your entreaty. He pauses for a moment, lost in thought. I'm not the maiden, he confesses rather abruptly. Thank you. 
Black helpfully explains that since Livia is not an official maiden, his relic is no more than an ordinary weapon, and therefore of no help to Laddie. He explains that while it's true he was born into a long line of maidens, he has not been recognized as the maiden on account of being a man. That his mother, the previous maiden, fell in battle, and he has simply been named as maiden to fill the role in the interim. Lavia, his confession complete, bids you farewell and walks off. Clearly, the maiden's circumstances are as varied as the islands on which they live. Black floats in the air, its mouth gently opening and closing. You presume it to be asleep. You lift your hands close to its ear and clap once with vigor. Explosions! Help! We're all gonna die! It shrieks, shooting even further into the air. Laddie sits in the chair, head bobbing in a desperate, if futile, struggle against sleep. She's no doubt exhausted from all the fighting. Everyone is plainly spent from a day of fighting. The time has come for rest. Enter the maiden's match with me, Lavia blurts out nonsensically, barreling into your room. It's a special tournament, and it starts soon, Lavia explains breathlessly. As it happens, they'll select the next maiden from the winners. A fitting festival for the might-obsessed hero's dominion, you think. But will they actually recognize Lavia as the next maiden if he wins? Lavia says he simply wants to win the tournament and gaze smugly at all the people who've called him weak over the years. You think back on how the citizens of the Dominion treat Lavia. How hard he works at a dangerous occupation, yet receives no respect for it. You can hear the pain of it in his voice every time he speaks. All right, it's a deal, you say. Besides, Fighting people from all sorts of different places sounds like fun. When does it, you begin? But Lavia cuts you off with an excited, tomorrow. The sun is dazzling on this, the morning of the tournament. The clanking of blades echoes all around you. Let's get to reception quick, Lavia chirps as he joins you en route to the arena. <laughs> 